Welcome back. So God himself has returned. Well, sort of. Fresh off from Broadway, playing now at the Denver Center for the Performing Arts is an act of God. This hilarious comedy focuses on God and his updated commandments. I sat down with God himself for a little one-on-one. -on -one. Hi, my name is Wesley Taylor, and I play God. As for the Bible verse, Thou shalt not lie with a man as one lies with a woman. That's just good advice. When you're with a man, you can straight up lie, but if you're lying to a woman, you need to be more subtle about it. <laughs> Turn it back on her. You think I'm cheating on you? That hurts, Linda. That really hurts. Basically, an act of God, the premise is God has come down to earth to inhabit the body of a stage and screen actor. I am the vessel in which the audience receives um, the new interpretation of the commandments and what I really meant when I wrote that good old book. They've even started dragging me into the gun debate, too. Apparently, there's a God-given right to guns. Really? <laughs> what part of the Bible did you find that in? The part with all the guns in it? <laughs> what book? What chapter? Colt 45? AK-47? <laughs> in the show I break down the commandments and sort of rewrite the commandments for a modern audience so something that I tried to do a little differently from what I saw was give him a little bit of an arc and there are three distinct places where God realizes that maybe he's made some mistakes and maybe he can learn himself from the mistakes he's already made I have so many jokes in this show that go a little unappreciated like some of the some of the audience laughs at jokes that I didn't even think were that funny but the jokes that I love my favorite jokes um, aren't met with as much laughter as I like them towards the end of the show I have this bit that goes uh, do you realize that in 6,000 years I have not done a single bit of outreach to the Chinese community it's only the single most populous country on the planet what kind of marketing is that I think is I think that's a brilliant joke but at that point in the show, it's time to wrap it up. If you're a young, spirited millennial who loves The Daily Show, this is your show, and you should totally come down and, and, and see it. My favorite part of the show is that it's never boring. Uh, that's my favorite aspect of this show, is, is that you know, every audience is completely unpredictable, and the energy that they give me sets the tone for every single show.